Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and it has finally arrived. It took over a year, mind you, but we have an official Cry Precision G3 combat shirt. With the great amusing thing being that just on the uh, several pages I follow and a few other things, apparently Cry is already coming out with the G4 now. Yay! Now, Initially, mind you, I'm, I'm doing airsofts here. I, I don't really need cry, you, or cry clothing for the stuff I'm doing. It's not that intense. Generally speaking, lives shouldn't be on the line. So, this is just like extreme comfort for the sake of extreme comfort, not operator stuff. So, yeah. That, but since my buddy paid me for an airsoft gun in cry trousers many 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 moons ago I felt it'd be nice to complete the set now initially I had the um whatchamacallit the olive green combat shirt from uh who makes it true spec and ranger green and olive green were all draft don't match up so it looked funny so I wore tan for a bit and then for the sake of humor and as far as uniforms go I got the TMC leopard print pumpkin spice latte edition combat shirt so this is your TMC, well I guess Chinese knockoff TMC, wherever TMC is from. Here's your knockoff, one man China. There you go. A decent knockoff at least. Knockoffs have been getting better, although I do not condone knockoffs in any way, shape, and or form. The only reason I purchased this one was, well I mean it's in leopard print. I would buy one in an actual color because that would be supporting it, but leopard print is just comically pleasing, so yeah so what do we got for those of you who haven't seen the g3 up close it's got the full zipper it's got the high collar it takes you from brass and well the harness on your packs and play carriers and all that it's got the elbow pad inserts if you wish to get them they cover the elbow pretty nicely there and they move around a bit but when you dive onto the ground the pads are in place they're soft imagine they can only take so many rocks before they start to fall apart but they're inexpensive enough, you can replace them, and they're pretty comfy. The problem with padding is that padding always creates hot spots, but without the Velcro wrap around, you get some improved breathability. The rougher, more durable material comes up to about the inside of the elbow, and then it goes into your nice, super soft, oh my god, material. High breathability throughout. So you got really, really good armpit ventilation, which is something I don't think you had in the uh, other combat shirts. They're like full sleeve up until about here. And then stitched in. I think they went across the others, the shoulder parts. But yeah, so this is better armpit ventilation, which is important because that's one of your key ventilation areas. So, elbow pads. You can go in here. They're just like a little elbow curb and then like your inserts. And there's the actual Velcro right here if you wish to take them out. Will I be using them? Yet to be seen. They're comfy enough though. Um, you got your double stripe here. You got your Cry Precision logo right there. To tell the world you spend way too much money if you're not using these for operations and stacking bodies. Your pocket has the double pocket thing, so one pocket here, second pocket in here. What you put in there, anything you want, probably Skittles if you're a poke. Skittles are delicious. Got your other side over here, I got a little patch here for my buddy. Um, another pocket, same sort of layout. I mean, it's a shirt. I'm not too sure what you want. I'm sure everyone's gonna be more interested in the uh, G4 by the time this video goes live so yeah you've got see no forearm pockets or anything crazy there so yeah that's really all there is to it it's a simple to the point high cry precision one with really good elbow armor although it's gonna take a bit to get used to the built-in elbow pads and they don't always stay center which I think is something they were trying to correct with the uh, G4 they just have that little so sort of like flare out in the uh, design there, I guess to hold it closer to the elbow. Now if we look at our Chinese knockoffs here, just to kind of see what they did. Yeah, they've got, um, oh, well, 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 would you look at that. They also have an elbow pocket, so I guess they didn't skip out on that little detail. I noticed there's the design there, I didn't actually think. You could put the elbow guards in there, so yeah, might 
second set of elbow guards, and you can uh, up armor this one as well. Interesting. Well, this was comfortable enough without them. I don't know. If you're wondering what the elbow guards even look like, tell that curiosity. I don't know. They're kind of. Again, it's it's winter time in Okinawa right now, but it's still humid. It's raining outside right now. And added hot hot spots aren't always the greatest. You generally want the knee pads because you're going to be doing a lot more kneeling than you're generally going to be doing prone work. But if you are doing prone work, then these are a godsend. So you've got your little cupped elbow piece here and your general vented forearm guard. So yeah, nothing too terribly fancy. Lightweight, pretty breathable, but... I don't know, the sleeve feels better without them. If you're not going to be diving onto the ground non-stop, then you probably don't need them. But they're a nice addition. You'll feel them uh, bumping around the whole time, but... Trading one comfort of not having bru bruised up, beat up elbows for the discomfort of having stuff in your sleeves. Ah, there we go. That's a bit better. So that's a bit more breathable. That feels a bit more noticeable. Let's see. I got these sleeves rolled up because I am just so operator. If we were to unroll the sleeves, however, you've got standard sleeves sort of set up there. You get better breathability rolling them in. I don't know which witchcraft does evolve scientifically, but you can take the elastic and you can cuff them if you want to keep them from getting caught on things or rolling over your arm or anything crazy. So if you're probably in a cold environment and looking for the improved concealment, then yeah, you don't want any flesh showing because that's kind of a dead giveaway. But yeah, it's an option. Actually, I think we're going to roll them outwards. You see how the outwards looks. So you get, um, you don't risk, uh, pulling up, tagging on the uh, sleeve when you roll it. And uh, there we go, it also protects the Velcro a bit better. Yeah, no, it depends what your personal preference is really. There's your two sort of setups, they're not too crazy noticeable. But yeah, so what do we have? We have a decently expensive shirt that is, well, cheaper than the pants, but as you can see, this is pretty much what the color difference is gonna become the more you're outside and doing things. I mean, it's gonna fall apart at some point, but it's cry, which means it's gonna be a very, very long time until it falls apart. And yeah, interesting. I wish I knew more about the G2 and G1s. I saw a picture of the uh, G2. I saw that the full um, sort of arm pad that was popular for a while. Little, what is this, pen holder thing here? I guess you can put pen in there, whatever you want, really. It's also free floating, so. Yeah, so I've got a full set at least, so I'm comfy. And these are pretty cool. And uh, there's bamboo in the corner. An unrelated note, so. Yeah, comfy little shirt. Fantastic. I don't really need to tell you that I recommend it, as opposed to some other things. The material compared to the TMC knockoff is exponentially... Stop. Exponentially more breathable. I think they've got about the same color height and stuff. So this is a decent knockoff, as we mentioned. It hasn't ripped or torn in any crazy way. And yeah, I mean the stitching and everything's high, far higher quality on this than on here. But yeah, so this is more like a kind of weird stretchy material. This is probably a good deal warmer, which doesn't sound like such a bad thing unless you're playing in the heat, in which case this will get sweat through immediately. Were I wearing that, I'd already be forming some layers of sweat, but with this being practically paper thin, I'm actually super comfy. So G3 combat shirt. How much will it help? Eh, it's more comfortable than your, come more comfortable and more breathable than your basic shirt. So, if we're really getting to the extreme sporting aspect of airsoft, then we shall see. But yeah, so comfy shirt. Figured I'd show it off. I don't know if you want to see the back or anything. You can model in it if need be. So, a hey. comfy shirt, all around comfy shirt. Recommended. GSK approved. Zippy collar, max comfort, maybe too much comfort. Perhaps men were never intended to tread in the uh, footsteps of gods. Cheers, everyone. Stay shield for us. Um, if you like cry shirts, then you probably already own one. If you don't know what cry is, then you're doing yourself a disservice as far as being a gear whore goes. And uh, yeah, stay shield for us. And. Um, I mean, you don't need a cry shirt. It doesn't make you a better player. It just makes you a more comfortable player. So now I can go lose in comfort. Cheers, everyone.